Dan Dickow here with Gonzaga Nation SI on the Gonzaga Nation Media Network. A quick mock draft update uh, with the NBA draft two weeks away. It seems as if every media entity is coming out with their mock draft. Who knows? We may even do one here at Gonzaga Nation SI. That may be a combination of myself as well as our two journalists, Asher Ali and Cole Forsman. We'll get back to you on that. But what I wanted to do today was take a look at a number of mock drafts and talk about where the Gonzaga players are slated in their eyes to be selected uh, in the NBA draft on Thursday, June 23rd. Uh, went over a few things a couple weeks back and was looking at the four guys that were in the draft currently at that time. That would have been Chet Holmgren, Julian Strother, Andrew Nemhart, Drew Timmy. Well, obviously it's been a, a big couple weeks. Uh, Drew Timmy, Julian Strother has withdrawn from the NBA draft and the combine has come and gone where they both put their best foot forward and did some good things. But Andrew Nemhart um, really put his best foot forward at the draft. He was spectacular, may have been the best, uh, may have had the best performances by a, a point guard in the NBA draft. Now that doesn't always correlate to being drafted the highest at that particular position. I think um, when you look at a number of these mock drafts, the point guards that will go higher than him, uh, Jaden Ivey, I don't really consider him a point guard. He's more of a two. Some people consider him a one, though. He's a probable top five, more likely the fourth pick in the draft um, out of Purdue. But the other ones that um, are looking as if they will go ahead of Nemhart in the draft, Ty Ty Washington from Kentucky, and then Kennedy Chandler of Tennessee. And, um, you know, I think, a, I, I think if you're looking for a ready-made player, and this is where a lot of college fans don't understand it, if you're looking for a ready-made player, um, I, I think Andrew Nemhart is your guy. If you're looking for potential down the road, and if you think a guy's projected to be a better player than what Andrew Nemhart is in two to three years, then you may go with Washington or Chandler. But in my eyes and what I've seen throughout college basketball, I don't think there was a better point guard uh, than Andrew Nemhart a season ago. Um, so Nemhart did himself uh, some, some great things by how he performed in the NBA draft combine. But we're going to quickly look at where he, as well as Chet Holmgren, are starting to fall in some of these pre-draft mock drafts. And when you look at Nemhard, I looked at a number of, of different mock drafts, and, and the highest that I saw him was Bleacher Report at 42. Uh, USA Today had him at 53, and NBA Draft.net had him at 58. So um, talking to some insiders, and I'm not going to share names, just different college coaches that um, were at the combine or talked to NBA scouts uh, in front office executives quite frequently. They feel that Nemhart will probably get drafted in that mid second round. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking Nemhart's probably anywhere between, I would say, about 37 and 47-ish. That would be where I expect uh, Andrew Nemhart to, to be slotted in the draft. Uh, before we get to chat, a couple other WCC products that are um, looking like they're going to get drafted uh, very well could get drafted. Jalen Williams of Santa Clara had a tremendous NBA pre-draft combine. There's been some rumors of him maybe sliding into the first round of the NBA draft. Uh, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case because you always hear these rumors and see these different things. I saw a post on social media the other day that I think there were 59 players were talked about as being a first round pick. Well, hold on a second. There's 30 slots in the first round. So what you're seeing and what you're going to be seeing is a lot of smoke screen, a lot of agents putting out different things for their clients to be kind of put in the best light, put as high on some mock drafts as possible. Um, but Jalen Williams is, is popped up on a number uh, of NBA draft mock drafts. Um, USA Today has him in the 40, at, at 40. Bleacher Report has him in the 30s. I would expect that uh, Jalen Williams of Santa Clara will probably be in the 30s. Um, I think he, you know, I thought he had a tremendous season at, at Santa Clara. You could see the growth of his game each season under Herb Sendek. And then you could see the evolution 
uh, this past season down the stretch of the year when he played fantastic basketball. And then you saw him perform extremely well um, in, in the combine and the different aspects of the workouts that they put you through. The other WCC product that uh, has a very solid chance of hearing their name drafted um, is Jamari Bouye from San Francisco. Um, NBA draft not ha net draft.net has him at 39. Uh, again, I looked at a number of them. That's the highest that I saw him at. Um, and I don't think he's going to get drafted. That's just my personal take. But I do think uh, he will be either on a two-way contract or he'll start in the G League, and he will be an NBA player at some point. I think he's too good. He's too skilled. He's too talented. He, he's a competitor. Uh, I think that he will be in the NBA in time. Uh, obviously, now you go back to who else is left at Gonzaga. Well, that's an easy one. That's Chet Holmgren. And everybody knew, at least – if you follow Gonzaga basketball, if you follow high school basketball at the national level, if you follow college basketball, um, you've known the name Chet Holmgren for quite some time. Gonzaga fans probably knew you were only going to have him for one year. You were hoping to maybe get him for two, especially after Gonzaga didn't advance to the final four. But he's a one and done. And there are 12 mock drafts that I glanced over. And of these 12, it was eight of the 12 had him as the second pick in the draft. Uh, only one of these 12 that I looked at had Paulo Banchero as the first pick in the draft. So the other ones had, um, the others had Jabari Smith of Auburn as the first pick in the draft. But the eight of the 12 that have him as the number two pick in the draft going to the Oklahoma City Thunder are ESPN, The Athletic, Sports Illustrated, Yahoo, Bleacher Report, Net Scouts, CBS Sports is Kyle Boone, and SB Nation. So um, eight of the 12 mocks have Chet Holmgren going at number two. Four of those have Chet Holmgren going as the number one pick in the draft. And that would be awesome for Gonzaga to be able to put that kind of in, uh, in their fact sheet. Uh, that they've got NBA players, they've got Hall of Famers like a John Stockton, they've got players that have won NBA titles uh, like Roni Turioff, Adam Morrison, they've got a number of lottery picks, they've got NBA All-Stars, but to have the number one pick is something that you can really promote and use in recruiting um, when, you're, when you're looking at the next wave of possible players. But the four mock drafts that have Chet Holmgren as their number one pick in the NBA draft would be the ringer, CBS Sports is Gary Parish, who's a huge Gonzaga fan, USA Today, and Basketball News. So don't see Chet Holmgren falling below number two. And none of those mock drafts had Chet Holmgren going number three. It's all first pick or second pick. So there's not going to be a whole lot of waiting around on draft night for Chet Holmgren and Gonzaga fans in regards to where he's going to go. Now they're going to have to wait a couple hours to find uh, where Andrew Nemhart is selected, but uh, feel confident that he will be selected. I think both of them are going to have a tremendous NBA career. Um, and I think that looking at other possible prospects out of the WCC, I think Jalen Williams of Santa Clara will be drafted. And I th don't know if Bouye will be drafted, but I think he will carve out an NBA career at some point. So uh, appreciate you listening. Pr appreciate you watching. If you're checking this out on YouTube, um, it's only two weeks till the NBA draft, Thursday, June 24th. Looking forward to it, as I'm sure you as a Gonzaga fan is. So for Gonzaga Nation SI, I'm your host, Dan Dickow.